Hey guys, welcome back today. So today, as with goes with all car audio, you have your battery. Well, I use an AGM battery in, in my car as an extra battery. And I had an issue. My amplifier started cutting out and I was wondering what was going on. So after troubleshooting a bunch of different things between the ignition switch, the ignition, uh, there's another ignition uh, cylinder, uh, then I came down to in the door panel, when you open your car door, your, uh, your radio shuts off. Well, my radio stopped shutting off when I opened my car door. So... That led to my battery being drained, which my AGM battery being drained, which led to my amplifier not being able to keep up with with voltage. It kept dropping down and dropping down and dropping down and dropping down. So the alternative is I charge my battery now to fix the issue. Because I can't, as soon as I turn the volume up, it won't keep up with it. it it's it's sitting at like uh, like 10.7 volts, and uh, as soon as it hits below 10, the amplifier cuts out, my bass cuts out. I can't have that. So I went and bought a battery charger. I got a three amp. It's a slow. Uh, it's a slow uh, charger. Slow chargers are good for AGM batteries. A trickle charger, slow charger. I got this Everstart one, and I got this at, I picked it up at Walmart, I think it was 20 bucks, something like that. So, uh, so plugging this in now, when I went in to do the, the terminals, the, the clamps, they actually have, the red clamp has a negative symbol on it, and the black clamp has a positive symbol on it. So that really, really confused me. So what I did was I put the, the black clamp that had the positive on it, as you can see, and the red clamp that has the negative on it. See the negative there? On the, they basically look like they're backwards, but they're not. They put them on backwards. So if anybody bumps into this, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put this in the title in the description. So if anybody else has this issue, they'll know exactly what to do right away. They won't. I was afraid I was gonna get blown up. I put my pool. I put the little pool in front of me. I uh, I wore safety glasses. I put on a uh, all gear. I, I was all geared up. So you want to put the charger on 12 volts and plug these in first. So put your positive on, put your negative on, and then put your charger on 12 volts. It's an automatic charger, 3 amps, and then plug it into the wall and it's good to go. I want to say anywhere between 3 to 6 hours I'm going to need to charge the battery. I'll let you know what happens after I, or I'll put it in the description actually, because I'm going to put the battery back in the car hopefully tonight when I go to work, and uh, hopefully it should all be good. I'm going to test it first with my voltmeter, or the, with the multimeter, I'm going to test it first and make sure it's all good. So guys, if you haven't already, throw that thumbs up, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, we greatly appreciate it guys, me and my kids, my wife. As you know, my wife has cancer. She told me that this wouldn't work, that the YouTube channel was a waste of time. Let's prove her wrong. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.